everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of my favourite Chinese starters, prawn dumplings. So let's get started. And here are my lovely ingredients. 3 tablespoons of fresh coriander, 1 spring onion, 2 teaspoons of fresh ginger, finely chopped, 1 teaspoon of sugar, half a red chilli, finely chopped, 2 teaspoons of sesame oil, 3 teaspoons of light soy sauce, 250 grams of chopped prawns, and gyoza, prawn dumplings. So let's get started with the mixture. So to the prawns, add the coriander, the spring onions. The spring onions and the coriander gives a very fresh taste to the dumplings. Then add the ginger and the chilli. I add the chilli just to give a bit of kick to it. The sugar, the sesame oil and the soy sauce. Give that a good mix and at this stage you'll know if the mixture is a bit dry. If so, you can add a bit of soy sauce or sesame oil to it. I think the colours look absolutely beautiful. And that's how I make my prawn dumpling mixture, quick and easy. With simple ingredients in the fridge and in the pantry. So let's get started making the dumplings now. Brush some water on the pastry with your fingertips. Add one spoon of the mixture to the middle of the dumpling. Pinch the edges together. Brush the edges with water and slowly fold the edges together. And that's one dumpling done. Just carry on this process until they're all done. It is a bit time consuming and you'll have to have a little patience. But it's all worth it. By the way, the soy sauce and the sesame oil, you can normally find them in local supermarkets. With the gyoza or dumpling pastry, you'll have to go to a Chinese supermarket to find them. They're normally kept in the frozen section, but if you keep them out for a couple of hours, they're perfect to use. Today I'll be cooking my dumplings two ways, I'll be frying some as well as steaming some. So to my frying pan I'll add some oil and let that warm up on medium heat. So while that's warming up, I'll go to my steamer where the water has been boiling for a while. This is an Indian steamer, I've just brushed it with some oil so that my dumplings don't stick to it. I'm going to place all my dumplings in the steamer all at the same time so they cook evenly about eight to nine minutes now place the lid on and let that cook slowly for a while back to my frying pan where the oil is nicely warmed up Give the oil a gross well and slowly add the dumplings. Make sure the bottoms are first so hopefully they cook evenly too. These will take about at least 9 to 10 minutes.
after a couple of seconds slowly flip the dumplings over as you can see the pastry is changing color so it cooks evenly both sides Finally, my prawn dumplings are done. I do like the burnt effect on it. Let's look at my steamed dumplings. And these are done too. Now I'm gonna make the sauce for the steamed dumplings. All you need is two teaspoons of dark soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, one teaspoon of red chili flakes, a sprinkle of fresh coriander, some spring onions and some fresh chilli give that a good mix you can use your sauce two ways you can either dip your dumplings in or you can just drizzle it on top like I like to do so let's start plating up and there you have it my favourite Chinese sauce cooked two different ways steamed dumplings as well as fried dumplings if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and hope to see you next time